It wasn't the first time my hair had been made a joke. But when I was teased again one day because of my hair, I found myself running right to my neighbor, Miss Tilly, right after school. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe the who we are. For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe the who we are. You see, I was always drawn to Miss Tilly's house. She lived four houses down and across the street from our house. There was something special about Miss Tilly and her home. The way she found a use for everything and made up songs while scrubbing her porch. The way her house shone in the daylight with its vines curling around it. It took my breath away. You could say her house had a glory. Folks have been poking fun of my hair since I was little, I told Miss Tilly. I sort of got used to it. I'd shrug it off, or I'd keep my hat on even when I wasn't supposed to wear it in class. Miss Tilly led me to her kitchen table where she'd been straining sorrel. When my tears came, a slow leak, a salty streak, she handed me a tissue and let me be for a few minutes. Thank you.
as it as it comes, like you wrapped in foam. It's got a glory, mystery as a garden, and in it good things grow. I run to her for help about the things I need to know. To care for my hair with this beautiful curly ways. My hair is a garden, I nurse it every day. My hair is shiny, my hair is strong. I wear it as a crown, like beauty up and song. I have a glory, I have a glory. One day, when the glory comes, it'll be ours, it'll be When the war is won, we will be sure, we will be sure, oh, glory, oh. Hands to the heavens, no man, no weapon, formed against, yes, glory is destined, every day women and men become legends since they go against our skin become blessings the movement is a rhythm to us freedom is like religion to us justice is juxtaposition in us justice for all just ain't specific enough one son died his spirit is revisiting us true and living living in us resistance is us that's why rosa sat on the bus that's why we walk through Ferguson with our hands up When it go down, we women and man up They say stay down, and we stand up Shots, we on the ground, the camera pans up King pointed to the mountaintop, and we ran up One day, when the glory comes It'll be ours, it'll be ours Oh when the war is won, we will be sure, we'll be sure, oh, glory, oh, oh, oh. now the war is not over, victory isn't won, but we'll fight on to the finish, and then when it all done, we'll cry glory, oh glory, oh, oh, oh we'll cry glory, oh glory, oh, 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 oh. Selma's now for every woman and child even jesus got his crown in front of a crowd they march with the torch we gonna run with it now never look back we didn't gone hundreds of miles from dark roads heroes to become a hero facing the league of justice his power was the people enemy is lethal the king became regal saw the face of jim crow under a bald eagle the biggest weapon is to stay peaceful we sing our music is the cuts that we bleed through somewhere in the dream we had an epiphany now we right the wrongs in history no one can win the war individually it takes the wisdom of the elders and young people's energy welcome to the story we call victory the coming of the lord my eyes have seen the glory one day when the glory comes it'll be
Miss Tilly then put a towel around my neck and led me to the sink. It's best to shampoo first. We'll detangle it when it's more pliable. Miss Tilly took out a large comb with teeth that looked as far apart as the spaces in the garden rake. Do you think my hair will be as long as yours? I asked her. It's the health of your hair that counts, said Miss Tilly. I guess you're right, I said, but I wasn't convinced. Would my hair always be somebody's idea of a joke? Would it ever be beautiful? When I was little, my mom would do my hair. Washing, conditioning, combing, detangling, and styling my hair. Every week. Mom made sure my hair was taken care of. She made me feel so beautiful, so loved. But it was different when I got to school. I was heckled with questions like, why do you wear your hair like that? And why don't you ever straighten your hair? And with comments like, your hair is ugly and you should dye your hair blonde. The constant stares and questions made me question my self-identity throughout elementary and middle school. I just wanted to fit in. I begged my mom for a perm. She would always comfort me and tell me that my classmates didn't understand what beauty was. Then one day, my mom agreed to let me get my hair pressed. I thought pressing my hair would change everything. I thought my insecurities would vanish. I thought I would finally be accepted by my classmates. And I thought I would finally be happy. But when I looked in the mirror, I still didn't like what I saw. It took me a long time to realize that what I didn't like about myself was something I couldn't change. My skin. But why was I so concerned with gaining my classmates' validation instead of my own? I realized I had to start living for myself. Pressing my hair left permanent damage on my soul. So I decided to embark on my curly hair journey. Embracing my natural hair is a never-ending journey, but I am so grateful that I took this leap of faith and decided to just be me. I've never felt better, and I hope that I can inspire others to be themselves and to live with no regrets. Ooh, I kind of like this.
would you prefer if you had to choose? A healthy, shiny head of cropped hair? Or hair that's long, straggly, fragile, and full of split ends? Come with me, she said, as she stared me toward the screen door to her garden. Miss Tilly's backyard was a paradise with so many shades of green, bright pockets of colorful flowers, and cool shade. How did you create this, Miss Tilly? I wanted to know. 30 or more years ago, I put some seeds in the ground, Miss Tilly said. I planted cuttings from neighbors and friends' trees, bought a few plants and bulbs from catalogs. I pointed to the tree Miss Tilly called a Japanese maple, the big one that draped gracefully over the garden. That tree was a cutting? I asked. Oh, that was a wee thing at first. The phone company men came through the yard one day and trampled over it with their boots, got in the way where they were sitting to have lunch. I found it plucked up clean and woven into the chain link fence. I gasped.
Brianna song. I am so sorry that they neglect the chant of your exquisiteness. Place you on as lofty a pedestal as our male martyrs. They overlook your pouty lips and voluptuousness. I am so sorry that you were taken from us. No one came to your rescue as you did for so many others. You are a she -ro. A strength sung from a now silenced throat. A blues note now boiling up from a furious society of sisterhood that now demands your justice. We cry out with your blood. The soil weeps with us. Your brown skin was baked in love. You were too buttery rich for their understanding. You befuddled them blind with your bold blackness. They woke you from your dreams with this American death. This nightmare. Like a retrospective noose on the necks, the ancestors shook you loose from your skin. The eight bullets called a vicious cadence touched your sacred temple, trembling, tossing to a still hearty still. But you are propelling a movement, Brianna. God, give us mercy and grace to march on this heavily trodden path to speak of your glory. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome one day. We shall overtake the tides, trying to tumultuously turn against us. We are tempted, tossed, but hope is not, nor will it ever be lost. Our faith is stored up in the softness of your eyes. Closed now, yet compelling our hearts to beat, pound palpitate, push, parade, proceed, pray, intercede for a sovereign God to pronounce judgment on our adversaries. Must watch the fall of Babylon and its systems and its one thick tongue of hate. May it be decimated. May the earth quake with its Jericho tumbling. We will wash our feet in the rubble and dance a ceremony of praise because we have passed over into our promise. Our weary bones will rest in green pastures and we will peaceably study war. I leaned down and ran my hand over some tiny plants on the ground near the bench. What are these? Those are succulents. They hold a lot of water, makes a great ground cover. They sure are pretty, I said. Miss Tilly looked at me. Is that tall Japanese maple prettier than those succulents? They're both beautiful, I said, even though they're so different.
My hair is a garden, and like every good garden, it must be cared for every day. The nutrients in the soil can be stimulated and enriched. My body is the soil for my hair. What I give to the soil comes back to me. My words are like seeds that I plant. What I think and speak draws a yield. My hair is a garden and I give it love. Experiencing a series of tensions building up. There aren't enough poster boards or hashtags to comfort us or quench the fire burning in our civilly unrested citizens who take to protesting in the streets. This is for those who suffer in silence and bear the burden with no relief, yet we still hold fast to the belief. 
We believe our change gon' come No matter the situation Those that operate in hate Will be blinded by the gleam of my melanin Or the light of gems embedded in our diadem There is an emancipated glory Dreaming bright as orbs jettisoned from beneath our skin I am still forged from beauty Even when I'm struggling They can never purge our virtue by any means of degradation I believe our change gon' come No matter the situation For jubilant and exuberant Is the melanin of our skin From despair we have arisen We have a promise and a crown That awaits us in a higher skyscape May our hope ascend to those golden streets and pearly gates We will lift off to sessions in flight Taking our rightful place Our wings are expansive For we have already arisen We have arisen to a better state a better state, been reading prophets, so I meditate. Appreciate one in her own town. Shake the dust, fix my crown, so clip the ground. My words were found, monuments and mountains, we chant them down. My voice resounds, I expound the script. Watch the text as the wisdom drips off my neck. Incredible, tattoo text is indelible. I express this so hard in the pain. The Eucharist, so I toast with saints. Eucharist, so I toast with saints. Soar with eagles, so I never faint. Words so holy, never taint. So would eagle, so I never fade. Uh, uh, I levitate. I uh, levitate to a better stay. A better soul stay. eagles to a better stay. Uh, better stay. Uh, I levitate. Yellow drip, I levitate. Golden tint, I elevate. Do it for the darker shade. Do it, watch the haters fade. Uh, watch the haters fade. Do it, watch the haters fade I'll watch the haters fade Fade, 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 fade. We must look inside our hearts to find a world full of love. For centuries, racial injustices have unfolded time and time again with no progress being made. Progress will never be manifested unless it begins inside of an individual seeking the change to do what is right. By speaking out, against injustices and educating ourselves, us as a people are setting an example for new generations to come. Racism is not born, but it is instead a creation of humanity. Therefore, we as a society have the power to abolish it. We are a long way from home that I don't know ever existed sadly, but I have faith that one can be built by taking action. Brick by brick, step by step, voice by voice, this is the beginning of an amazing story that is leading to a world full of love that will no longer hold racism in its heart. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, and many others. We really hope to make you proud one day. Through the tireless work of modern pioneers, in truly the superpower working on in the fields of pure science to reveal more of the mysteries of the universe. 
on the surface, is it's exactly what it says, which is Black Girls Code. They're learning how to code web pages and code programs for robots. So it's that in a literal sense, but figuratively, is I think it's a way that we move forward into the future with how we do things, how we innovate, how we bring our essence back to dominant culture because right now our narrative is kind of left out of the story. Just to say the word black girls is revolutionary in and of itself. So for Kimberly to step out to open up that particular industry to girls at such a young age, I mean the sky is the limit for what they can bring to society as a whole, so it's very innovative. The mind is the most powerful machine that we possess as human beings. I founded Black Girls Co. because I noticed there was a huge need in terms of girls of color and in introducing them to computer programming and technology. We're feeding the mind of the next generation. So far, we went to IBM. We made the robot that we had to program, but we had to debug it, and that was hard. The robot really is a, is a piece of equipment that humans program. So the question is, can you, do you want to play a role in, in the future in terms of technology? Uh, the lack of people of color in the technology field, a lot of it stems from education. We see an underrepresentation in that area from all minorities, ethnic backgrounds, and also uh, people of, of color. And I think it's a tremendous program in how it reaches out to young girls and introduces them uh, very early to the concept of new technology. This is Silicon Valley. This is like the center of technology. And so when the girls go to those um, organizations, to those companies, to do hands-on activities. Um, that's how all education should be. But just to see them flourish and grow in self-confidence and their sense of self, their identity, that's all part of the elements that we try to build into our program. It shapes their soul and their self-esteem and their self-worth by saying, look, this is what I did. So you can see their little spirits changing and empowerment. Black Girls Code can help little girls. If we have a Black Girls Code, when we grow up, we might become people in technology.